I know you know 10 ways how to sidechain, but this way is by far the best way how to sidechain in FL Studio right now. Five seconds, hit on a plus, M, enter, copy your kick MIDI onto it and open our new Patcher Lords preset pack and drag LFO tool over your melody. It's capable of much more than that, of course. Let's see how it's done from the beginning. So we are going to open Patcher and open some volume manipulating tools such as Fruity Balance. We are going to open it and activate the volume knob. Now we are going to show plugin picker, write control and see Fruity Envelope Controller. Now Fruity Envelope Controller needs a video on its own, but you don't have to worry about anything you see here. I'm going to show you everything you need to make your own LFO tool or shaper box because everything that those two plugins make can be done inside of FL Studio and it will be as easy if you stay with me till the end. So we are just going to delete those two points here because we'll need only this shape in here. Now we're going to close it because that's everything. <laughs> right click on it and go to Outputs, Controllers and Articulator 1. Now we're going to link it to our Fruity Balance because that will be triggering our volume here, right? Because we activated that. And now we right click from FL Studio and go to Outputs, Events and activate MIDI port 0. Now we're going to link it to our Fruity Envelope Controller because that's the same color and we are done. Now we need a trigger for that. So that's why we go and add a MIDI out, which is by default linked to port zero. That's exactly why we set this output here to port zero. And now, as you can see, if I play on my keyboard, what's happening with the volume is going down. Now we just need to get the trigger, for example, a kick drum and copy it and paste it to our MIDI out. That's how it sounds now. Now we change the bass to 30% because we don't want the LFO to boost the volume. We just want it to go up to 0 dB. So we set that up and now you can shape the sidechain however you want it, just like in Shaperbox or LFO tool. Now that's especially useful when we have non four to the floor kick drum pattern such as here. Now, if you have your kick pattern set up in different moments of your track and you go to your kick drum pattern and select all similar clips and hit Control and G, that will group them together. So now you have all of the kicks in one pattern and now you can basically add the MIDI out and drag the LFO tool preset onto it. Now the default settings might be too much for you, that's why you can easily go and drag down the mix knob. You'll have no phasing issues whatsoever. However, what I suggest is that you right away when you're starting building your drums over your melodies, add MIDI out and add layer by hitting plus and L marking your kick drum and MIDI out and set children in your layer and just simply taking your kick drum and making it on top of the layer instead of the sample itself. That way you have the same control but can shape exactly as you want your sidechain. Of course, instead of making it at the mix knob here, you can take this dot higher. You get the idea, it takes 30 seconds to make. It comes free in our Patcher Lords light pack. This pack is amazing. We have over 30 Patcher presets that I always wanted to have in my library and they are finally out here. I guarantee you'll be using it in every single of your tracks. Stuff like human hearing balance, chord finder, multiband sidechain, multiband stereo measure, multiband distortion, a lot of one knob patches like infinite smile and a lot of alternatives that are just going to save hours of your time. And now as you watch our videos, you know that there are many, many more ways how to sidechain. For example, you could just throw a fruity balance on top of your melody loop, create automation clip out of the volume, now delete it, go to your channel rack and bring back the previous kick, copy the MIDI from the kick to automation clip. Now open the editor here, make it a lot smaller, just like this and make the shape right here. Oh, 
also amazing technique. However, the technique with Matcher allows you to easily link it to different elements. Let's say you want to add a huge reverb onto everything. And now you can activate the wet and link it to the shape. Make sure we have the MIDI on our MIDI out. So let's say we do something like this and deactivate the sidechain. Now you can add another articulator, link it like this, and as we added articulator second, go to articulator second in our envelope controller and make the adjustments in here. Make sure to delete those two guys and enable the envelope. Take down the bass. So this articulator controls our reverb, turning it after like two beats or so, and this articulator controlling our volume. And now, believe me or not, you can add third articulator and link it to whatever you want. Let's say delay three, choose one of my presets here, do it like this. And let's say we want to control the wet value. We activate it here and link it inside. Now we go to articulator three, delete those two guys and let's say we want to do something different right now like this and let's say we also add an eq and make this kind of shape so we have a low pass and we output another articulator enable it and let's say we make this kind of shape and of course enable this guy, activate it, link it. I hope that you got value out of this video and I could show you that FL Studio actually has much more under the hood that you might think of. And I believe that the more tricks like this you know, the easier it will be for you to realize the ideas you have in your mind. And if you want to learn more tricks like this and learn FL Studio inside out, check the first link in the description. We've got amazing programs for you that are going to skyrocket your skills together with some amazing offers and exclusive discounts that I could negotiate with some of the biggest plugin manufacturers out there make sure to check the first link in the description out. Comment your next topic idea, subscribe and turn on the notification bell since I know you don't want to miss out on videos like this and I see you in the next one.